So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if I can get this halter on Trinity. There are two ways, two approaches um, that I use when it comes to haltering a horse. The first is I wanna see if I can approach and halter him with just the halter, okay? If that doesn't work, I have a very simple, non-intrusive, and it's not wrangling him down and tying him and flipping him over and all that kind of old way of doing things, where I just throw a loop of uh, my rope over his neck and begin to teach him to give to pressure so that he'll work with me. I always like to start with this first. There's nothing wrong with this way. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but if you can get away with just nice and slowly introducing the halter with him, I recommend that you start with this. Uh, so we'll see how he does. If this doesn't work, then uh, not, and, and it'll work but it might take a little bit more time than I have today, okay? So if it looks like it's gonna take more time, then I'll go ahead and use the rope. But either way, even if this does work, I'll show you the rope method just so that you know how to do that if you're working with your horse at home. So let me go ahead and set my rope down and uh, we'll get right to it. So a moment ago, I showed you first touch. Usually right after first touches, I wanna begin to show and touch with the halter as well as I'm rubbing my horse. So he's kind of hanging out with me. I'm gonna give him an opportunity to engage and see if he'll just kind of stand th there for my approach. He's backing away. We'll see how much, oh good, I like that. <sighs> I'm gonna come in here, good. I lowered my hand just to take pressure away because he stood there, right? Okay, he's looking away. He's not really engaged. He's kind of, but he's, he's kind of tolerating me, right? If you read his body language, I want him to kind of hook this way towards me a touch there, and then I'll take pressure away. <sighs> and I'm gonna come right back in. And I'm gonna see if he'll let me kind of touch him over here. There, okay. And I'm gonna say, hey, thank you for letting me touch you, but because you backed up, remember if you leave me, you can do that, that's your choice. But it results in you really having to work. I'm gonna push him quite a bit here. Notice how I pushed him out of the trot and said, no, we're gonna actually canter. Let's put you to work here. Give him some motivation to appreciate the opportunity, good, to connect with me. When he turned in, I immediately took that pressure away, let him know he made a good decision. I'm gonna let him just kind of sit and marinate in that choice there. Good boy. <sighs> he lowered his head and I kind of mirrored him by lowering my countenance as well. <sighs> and I'm gonna see if I can close the gap. <sighs> Notice my head's nice and low, relax. I'm gonna stop right there. <sighs> Take some pressure away. He made a good decision by sticking with me, not just turning away. I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna to touch him this time. What a pony. Good boy. I'm gonna bring up the halter, see if he wants to smell that and check that out. Oh my goodness, he touched it on his own. What a pony, oh my goodness, yes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a rub on this side of his face and neck. Oh yes, and I'm gonna give him a rub on this side of his face and neck, yes. And now I'm gonna rub on this side and I'm gonna rub on this side at the same time, if I can. He left me, back to work. And that's okay. So I'm gonna work him. And I'm actually gonna work him quite a bit here. What I'm gonna look for is for him to ask me if he can come in. He says, hey, all this cantering around in circles, this is no fun, right? That's what I'm kind of looking for. For him to say, hey, is there another option here? And what'll show me that he's interested in another option is when he starts to slow down on his own, which he's doing, if that nose start, hey, there starts to tip in towards me, oh, good. And then I'll say, yeah, of course there's another option. Why don't you come hang out with me? <sighs> you don't gotta do, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna mirror him by dropping that head, just like he did. I say, hey, you don't have to run around if you don't want to. The door is always open to hang out with me, bud, right? Yes, sir. 
And I'm gonna rub on this side. Hey, Trinity. Yeah. It's all good, man. It's all good. So I tried to hold him. I lost him. I, I, I. No, sir. Put him back to work. See him want to come in there? I'll give him an opportunity here. Good. I'm going to say no. Do you want to come in here? Can't go that way. It's against the rules. But you can always come in. Always. Good. And I'm going to come in. Okay. So I talked about introducing the uh, halter to him and getting him to halter up, which is the halter. And that if in time he wasn't coming around, and again, if I do a lot of this approach and retreat, um, it'll come around, probably would take me another 20, 30 minutes. But for right now, I just don't have that time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the shortcut that you can use with your rope, okay? We'll do that. But then once we do the rope, then we're gonna go back to putting the halter on him. So stick around for this next clip where we're gonna work together. Uh, and this exercise, I'm gonna introduce the rope to him. I'm gonna throw a loop over his head and teach him how to give the pressure. And then we'll come back to using our halter. You gotta be able to adjust when you're working with your horse, depending on the circumstance. If I had all day, I'd much rather prefer to do this approach and retreat. You can see he's already making progress. He's sticking around with me longer, but I can just tell I've been doing this for long enough. I can tell in order to do it this way, it's gonna take me another 20, 30 minutes, which I don't have. Uh, let's jump right in, stick around, and check out how I get him with the rope, and then move forward with that. 